Well, hello, fellow warning fans and art fans. Uh, this will be geared, I guess, to both of you, whether you're here for the drawing or whether you're here for the alley of it all. So, um, what I had put out before was a picture of Paulina that I had drawn that actually took place mostly after this one. This one was actually the first one that I started after the 25-year hiatus from drawing. And so a lot of my learning that I did was applied to the Paulina drawing. The biggest thing that I learned was that the paper that I'm drawing on right here sucked. Uh, it was stuff that I had around from, you know, probably 25 years ago. And it was before I really, you know, I used to do a lot of pencil drawing, but I just drew on anything I could find handy. And it was some paper I'd picked up from where I worked. And it turned out, as I found out, that it was really rough and really hard to get details on. Um, it, it, just, it just was not good paper. It was very grainy. And I found out after this one, well, it was why I decided to buy a pad of much, much better paper to do Paulina's and Danny's on. Because, you know, live and learn. So I learned, and after that, I lived. So this one is really my trying to figure out how to do things so that I could apply them later. Uh, the smudge stick I'm using there, my first time trying to use one. So I had no idea what I was doing. I just kind of winged it. Um, trying to use erasers a little bit more because I didn't use hardly any of these techniques when I was growing up and drawing. I pretty much just started drawing and then, you know, I wouldn't do a lot of erasing back and things like that. Uh, especially to add highlights and all. I just added the highlights as I was drawing. So back in the day, I was pretty decent at pencil drawing, but not as good as I found out I am now at it because of all my years of Photoshop have given me a bit of a leg up. Uh, and watching a lot of videos has definitely taught me a lot. The boy just kind of moving along really quick with this fast pace but I figured better to just go ahead and do this and uh, if I have one that I want to really go into detail about everything I'm doing uh, it'll be a better picture than this now not to say that this was a bad picture it just wasn't as good as I found I could do with better materials um, I even went ahead and started learning to use my pencils a little better after this as well. Uh, like the eyebrows and all that right there. I just couldn't get the fine lines that I really wanted uh, with, with the darker pencils because it was just chewing up leads like crazy. Um, as, of course, Allie does. Allie chews up leads like crazy. I have no idea what that means, but figured I'd throw it in there. Um, for people who are here for the drawing and not the warning, I do want to say to you, if you get a chance and you like good classic sounding rock and roll, but with a modern feel, uh, give the warning a chance because they're probably my favorite band now and uh, probably about since I quit drawing. So probably 25, 30 years. And it's what prompted me to get back into doing artwork because before this I did a painting and that was one of my first ones in a long, long time. If you're hearing anything that's repeated from my Paulina video, I, it's because I haven't done it in a while and I forgot what I said on the Paulina video. But I will try to stick to the fact that this one being first and, you know, kind of having to fight with it was kind of a pain so it's one of the reasons that when I got my new paper in I just switched over and started doing the Paulina one 
just to find out what what difference it would be and it made it kind of hard to get back and finish this one but I definitely wanted to finish because I knew uh, I was working my way up towards being able to meet the warning and I wanted to have it finished and if I started you know I started a new alley one but I wasn't going to be able to finish it in time on the new paper so I wanted to finish this one and go ahead and take it and get them to sign it and just kind of keep it for myself as a keepsake for you know uh, I guess I guess my reemergence into the art world we'll call it because my reemergence with um, some of the music stuff I was doing happened because of them as well uh, they just kind of inspired me and that it, I don't know, it, it, it's just been kind of odd the way it happened. But I'm thankful for it because it has opened a lot of doors for me. Uh, right now I'm trying my first sculpture and uh, it's something along the lines of like the superhero sculptures, but it's rock and roll sculpture and I'm starting with Alley. Uh, it's probably about two and a half feet tall, all clay and it, not done but i'm it's on my way and coming along better than i expected to be honest okay so now when when i used to draw i didn't i don't think i had as much of a a sense of getting the, the like the shadows and the eyes and all that to actually make them look more real i, I don't i think i used to leave them a little more white you know, in the whites of the eyes and things like that. And I look back now and realize that that was a mistake. I, I needed to have more variation. Um, but, you know, also some of the ones that I was doing before were based on other pencil drawings, so I was able to mimic that. Now with doing this from these pictures, it's... Uh, it's definitely different, especially since some of it was color and trying to translate color to black and white in your head and get the tones and the shading and all that right can be a little tricky. Um, but only tricky because I hadn't done it in so long. Uh, after I finished this one, or you know, as I was doing this one and then finished Paulina's and went to Danny's, each time I got faster. Uh, Danny's hair, uh, she's Allie's sister. Um, she has blonde hair, so that one took me a little longer just because of the hair. But where this one probably took me, um, I think this one took me about 10 or 12 hours at this kind of resolution almost think of this as a lower resolution because I managed to get so much more detail in with the finer paper. So the Paulina drawing took me about 10 and a half hours. Or, let me see. Yeah, I think it was 10 and a half, uh, 12 hours, something like that. And I'm thinking that this one ultimately ended up being about 10 hours as well but it was because I kept making mistakes and having to back myself up and, you know, do a little of this and that. Um, and since I did the face first, it's always hard to go down into the neck and things like that and really, really give a shit about what you're drawing. But, but I did, uh, you know, it was still me figuring it out and learning to draw hair. And I really wanted to get some of the light highlights into the hair wish you could see I'm trying to do there with the uh, mechanical eraser that I had just bought and never used and it didn't work that well because this paper didn't erase well with that um, I think because of the roughness it just was handling the the lead really differently um, over there on the left, I almost actually kind of wish I had smoothed out that little hump coming out in her hair a little. But 
the new drawing that I do uh, already looks way better and I'm going to be hopefully finishing and posting that in the next week. Uh, it's moving much more quickly than this one did. Um, I couldn't believe the difference in how this paper ate up pencils. That was, that was a real surprise to me how much difference the paper made for that. But as I said, you live and learn, and I definitely learned. Uh, it, and I also didn't go into real detail in here because once I figured out I couldn't get the detail, I decided to let it be a little sketchier. So like the necklace, I didn't really, you know, go into heavy, heavy detail. Just kind of gave the impression of the necklace. And the same with the clothes and all that. And we're actually already getting towards the end of the video here. Um, I do want to say, if you get a chance, go and listen to The Warning's new CD. It's called Error. Uh, phenomenal music. I just finished doing a review of it. So, um, we are almost to the end here. And then w there will be a short little film of me actually getting to meet The Warning, take this picture to Allie, and have her sign it before I show the final product. So, here we go. I think I did. The piano one? Yes, I think I did. I okay, think I, did. I was trying to channel my <laughs> inner pissed off pal. <laughs> Mission accomplished. <laughs> wow. That's awesome. That's awesome. And I'll wow. be including a little movie on the one of Danny that I'm about to upload soon as well. Thank you for joining me, everybody, and I hope I didn't bore you too much, so just have a good day. <laughs>